Hello, these are my lessons on the way. Um, my name is John T. I've been married to Laura for almost four years now, and in September we were joined by our daughter Effie. Um, we moved to West Drayton shortly after getting married, as I was based in London working in finance and Laura worked in Swindon, um, so being right in the middle made a lot of sense. Um, we've enjoyed getting involved in St Matthew's life, starting and leading the youth group Ignite until Anna Claire joined, as well as occasionally playing in the band and joined the home, our home group Oasis. Um, when I was thinking about my lessons, um, having grown up in a Church of England household, everything naturally flowed into three reflections, each with their own verse, though I couldn't make them uh, alliteration this time, sadly. Um, so the first one is patience. While we love our one-bed flat, uh, once we knew Effie was coming, we started uh, looking to move. Covid timings really didn't help with this, um, so we put our flat on the market in June, and after four months of nothing, we finally had an offer which we accepted in October. Um, just letting it happen in that time while also welcoming Effie and all the changes that brought and, and lockdown and everything um, was just such a huge challenge. And I really like Exodus 14:14. 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you, you need only be still. The Lord will fight for you, you need only be still. My, my second reflection is that God has a plan, um, trust it, even when the future looks and, and maybe still is murky. And much like Louise mentioned in her segment, I found so many positives in the lockdown, not least that I'm able to spend far more time with Effie. Um, we actually lost our first buyer early in the year, so both felt really low about that. Um, but after putting our flat back on the market for a second time, we've since had another offer that was even better than the first, uh, which we have accepted. Uh, there's still lots that we need to work out, but I feel confident in God's plan. Um, and Jeremiah 29.11, uh, just really speaks to this. For I know the plan I have in, have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I really like that. Um, the third one is just that the church is more than the four walls. I miss seeing everyone in person and I find it so much easier to worship when surrounded by others. Missing out on new wine was particularly disappointing, but our church family has helped, whether it's the Sunday services, um, where it's been great to see so many different people getting involved, or our weekly home group, or even the occasional chance encounters while out on walks. Um, yeah, it's been great. And I haven't felt that, um, you know, I've been totally removed from the church family, despite the kind of physical lockdown. Uh, and 1 Peter 2 verse 5 you are also like living stones, you also, sorry, like living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. And those are my reflections. Thank you. So that's patience. God has a plan and trust it. And that the church is more than just these four walls.